Greetings everybody. Welcome to G4G on YouTube. I'm your host, Napalm Dawn, and today we're going to do a quick little video on an article that I happened to catch just a little bit ago on my Google Cards. So if you're not an Android user, you may not know exactly what this is, but um, on several of my Android devices, more specifically the tablet in my kitchen, I have this thing called Google Cards where you just click on Google and you get, uh, you know, a bunch of cards relevant to your interests, essentially stories, like a curated news feed. Well, when I was down there getting a late snack and checking on the cat, and maybe I'll do a video on that particular cat's woes in the future. But for now, I was reading through my Google cards and I happened to come across an article that piqued my interest. And it's on the site called 411 Mania, which is more specific. I, I'd have to say it's a reasonable amount about wrestling. I've never run into the site before until I got this card. But the article was right here. Top 8 games that have been shut down and look what was right in the thumbnail. I said, oh man, I got to click on this. So I read this article. Now I'm going to bring it up here on my PC and share it with you guys. And we're going to talk about it. So the top eight games that have been shut down. Marvel Avengers Alliance, Disney, Infinity, and more. It was posted October 20th. So a day ago uh, on 411mania.com. And in it, this author, Mark Morrison, talks about several games that he really liked that died over the years. And he mentions Crucible shutting down, which was a little sad. Uh, Crucible was an Amazon game, which makes, unfortunately, two failures for Amazon so far. Crucible was kind of a battle royale-ish, but it was fun. Um, I actually really like, like, sort of like a, a MOBA-ish, a Battleborn, a Gigantic by Motiga, to that effect. It, it honestly was, was fun. However, it dipped really bad in population, and then went back to a beta mode, and then just, it's, it's completely fizzed out. You can play it now if you play like custom games, but unfortunately the game is dead, which also follows on the heels of Amazon's Breakout dying a couple years back. And that game was kind of fun too. It was sort of like Death Ball from UT2K3, sort of like a soccer basketball kind of game with powers and sort of MOBA-ish powers and everything, which leaves New World as the only one that's really got a shot. And that's changed drastically from when I had played in Alpha a while back. But I haven't played it in a while. I, I'm not a fan of the crafters, and that's what that is. It's, it's a crafter. So he mentions Amazon Crucible, and uh, he mentioned Guns the Duel, but says apparently you can still play it, but there's about 70 people playing. Now, I liked Rusty Hearts. I don't know Guns of Duel much, but I think I remember reading it way, way back. And I, like, favorited it somewhere. But I, I really miss Rusty Hearts, which may have been Perfect World who did it. Um, but here he goes. So he mentions Shin Megami Tensai Imagine, which is an MMO version of Shin Megami Tensai. And he mentions Dark Sport. Now, it's, what's interesting is he actually hits on a few that I've covered on my channel over the years. I really liked Dark Spore um, a lot back in the day. It, it took a space riff on the Spore series. Um, my, my girlfriend liked Spore a lot. I was a huge fan of Dark Spore. I was really sad this one got shut down now i have an original box dvd copy of the game and apparently because i have that i can still find a way of getting somewhat in the game 
Um, he mentions that uh, I know it did have some single player options, but that might have also been tied to the online DRM, which is long gone. Yeah, you can get into the game now according to the Dark Spore Reddit. Uh, I have one of the files that I need for it, and I have an original copy. I just haven't tried it yet. So he mentions Disney's Infinity 3.0. Well, Disney Infinity 3.0 is what's in the video, but he mentions any of the the Disney Infinities. And lo and behold, number five. Good old MAA, Marvel Avengers Alliance. And I really don't remember this trailer much. I think mostly because I started during the MAA beta. So my introduction to the game had already been had. But I'll shut up for a second. We'll let this trailer play. I mean, Destroyer Loki switched. God, I really just don't remember the trailer. I I think because I didn't need it. I, I was into it already, so maybe I didn't encounter it, but. Uh, here's his take on it. This was pretty much the first and last time I got into Facebook gaming. Wasn't really true for me. I had others before MAA, which is probably why I was in prime position to encounter it. Uh, Avengers Alliance was a turn-based RPG on Facebook. We could recruit various Marvel heroes and sometimes villains and do battle against the villains in the world. It was typically a 3v3 RPG. Yeah, well, I mean... Almost always the 3v3, except for the heroic battles. Uh, where you had a player-created shield agent alongside two Marvel characters. Each character had four attacks and moves. It was typically turn-based RPG. The social aspect was you could rope your friends in for additional energy. Or you could get items from them. While the game was shut down in 2016, there actually is a small but passionate fan base. Oh my god. I didn't realize that when I first read this. This guy knows about Redux. Oh, man. Wow. I didn't realize that at first. Like, I saw he started talking about that. I was like, ooh, this is a good idea for a video. I should talk about this. Oh, my. Wow, Redux made the big time. Oh, that's... Oh, boy. This is... That's interesting. I mean, I was going to talk about, you know, Redux and MAA still being, uh, you know, alive in the degree that, you know, the team is trying to get it back and everything. Um, and just to show you, this is, you know, a functional game and not some old video and everything. I mean, there you go. That's, that's, that's Flash. This is beta 3, by the way. Links are in the description. Um, wow. A small... Wow, 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 wow. Where... Ooh. I wonder if this guy is in any of the groups, like on Discord or Facebook or anything. Very, very interesting. Uh, I don't know LEGO Dimensions very much hellgate london has had a lot of coverage on youtube from dedicated people for it um i knew at least one guy in my world of warcraft guild way back when who really thought he was going to quit wow for hellgate um kind of believed it was going to be the next big thing it, it it certainly would have been cool if it was. I mean, Secret Secret World was fun back in the day. I played the beta of it and a little bit of it when 
when it went live, but I never really followed through, and now apparently Secret World's been super hyper-changed. Um, whenever I would see footage of this game, I couldn't help but think of the old uh, console game, but I think it was on PC too, or PC first and consoles later, uh, Nightmare Creatures. There was, I think there was also Nightmare Creatures 2, but I had Nightmare Creatures, and I played it with the stick guy, the, the staff guy, bow staff guy, however it was called in the game, but, um, yeah, Hellgate London, Jesus Christ, lifetime subscription was $200. I think this one was, one of the reasons why it failed is that it was tied to that Windows live game service or something like that um but de uh, the death of a g the I think the guy's name is Nerd Slayer he does death of a series or death of a game on YouTube great channel by the way check out his stuff I need to see if he's uploaded anything recently he had a really really good video on Hellgate London and why it died and he, he does videos on other games too like uh, Rift is up there. I wonder if he'll do one on Terra. Now that Terra is dying. But yeah, uh, check that guy out. Nerd Slayer, Death of a Game. Uh, really, really good insightful guy. Uh, one vs. 100. Which, uh, okay, apparently it's HQ Trivia. I don't really uh, know this game particularly well. Oh, I think I have heard of it, but... And then, look at this, Marvel Heroes. Um, I played this game a lot back in the day. I covered it. I had gotten a pretty good roster by the time the game shut down in 2017. It, it's unfortunately really a shame what Gazillion did, it, did to its devs. Um, people were able to get their money back from a lot of the purchases. I think PC users were not, but I do believe console users um, were able to get it back from like Xbox and PS4 respectively, Sony and, and Microsoft. But Gazillion just kind of, they, they screwed everybody up really badly. And Von Dormer had a bad history. So here he says, the adage, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, fool me can't get fooled again, George Bush Jr. applies here. After Avengers Alliance fell through, I got really involved in Marvel Heroes. Heroes was basically a well-made Diablo clone, right, featuring characters from the Marvel Universe. You could pick any one starting character and then buy additional characters directly or from random loot boxes. That's what it was in the beginning. I think by... That was when it got overhauled from 2013 into 14. That changed. But yeah, I, d I think I got Scarlet Witch out of a loot box early on. You could generally play it single player. That's all I ever did. But it did have some more multiplayer hubs where you could team up with other players to tank on bigger bosses or a few raids. Uh, the game was shut down 2017 due to Marvel Disney terminating the license. And from all accounts, the CEO of Gazillion being a massive scumbag. I, I, this guy is my spirit animal. He knows a lot of the stuff that I do. Uh, this is also why I refuse to give that Marvel's Avengers game a shot. He means Marvel's Abdongers, by the way, not M-A-A-R. Because I pretty much know it's going to be closed within a year or two. No thanks, Marvel. That's going to get its own video because we've got a lot to talk about with Marvel's Abdongers. Um, but holy shit this guy wow i mean i don't know how many people know of this site i don't know how many people will get exposed to this article i mean for me um it got exposed to me i guess because you know google knows everything about me and knows my association to maa in some way so let's see what's said in the discussions Gotham Imposters, Friday the 13th, yep. The Last of Us servers on the PS3. Friday the 13th breaks my heart. 
Uncharted 2's multiplayer, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, EA shutting games down to spite fans. Yep, rip Visceral Games. I Do you know how bad every single one of us should feel that we're never going to get another Dead Space game? Uh, I mean, God, fuck, EA, at least, like, remaster them for next gen or something like that, but this world is at a critical loss to not have another Dead Space game. And can you even do another Alien Isolation? I mean, Alien Isolation seems to have a very standalone plot and fit where it needs to, but can you really bring back that space horror of Dead Space? I mean, Dead Space 3, everybody bags that for being action but I, I still liked it um I gave Friday a chance Resident Evil Resistance uh No Mercy sequel WWF Backlash Marvel Heroes would be my number one too but a personal favorite of mine I would buy in a heartbeat again would be WWF with the authority City Heroes got no love yeah that's um that's a bit surprising but coh i believe does have a fan revival uh mega man universe silent hills fez 2 mortal kombat x metroid De dread oh uh interesting never heard of that marvel heroes put it in mua 3 eh, i would have think yeah, I think Marvel Heroes would have done well on the Switch. Wildstar, Hellgate, yep. Avengers Alliance, here we go. Avengers Alliance was the best. Freaking love that game. So sad when it got sh shut down. Is there really a chance it could come back? How, why can my old game be saved and be brought back? That would be incredible. Um, oh, so somebody bit. I don't know if we should get the clue the person in or not. Um... I might. Marvel Heroes, MAA, so much back in the day. Mag is the shutdown game that sends me the most. Starblood Arena. Starblood Arena. Don't know that one. Quick Live. Was also, or not Quick Live. That's the one on the browser. But um, that Quake one on the Bethesda launcher also started to dip really badly and I believe got shut down. I'm Battleborn. I, I might reply to this person to help them out a little bit but uh wow m-a-a-r um made some news over here and i mean for uh you know a site to pull down at least 26 comments so far within 24 hours and have some comments be about m-a-a that's that's pretty cool so yeah, kudos to Goofy and the Redux Project for getting a little bit of press. Um, it'll be interesting to see what, what uh, this drums up over here. But uh, for City Heroes fans, I do believe there is something out there for you guys. Marvel Heroes, unfortunately, I think I heard one thing once, and I don't even remember where it is anymore. I don't know that I could find it again. But um, yeah kudos to redux see you guys later have a good one